It's complicated. I don't know where to start. If I try to track my exposure to the effect you add, I can kind of see how I got here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sometimes, talking to people can be draining. On the outside, you're reacting, participating in the conversation, attempting to look like a socially acceptable human being. Beneath that, your brain is making connections based on what the other person is saying. You're storing up thoughts, thinking about what you're going to say next. Then there's your experience of the other person. Are you attracted to them? Are you frustrated by them? Do you trust them? Do you resent them? Under that, there's your experience of yourself, in this moment and in general. You're trying to gauge whether you're talking too much, or if you have something in your teeth, or if you're sweating, or if the waistband of your jeans is too tight. You're asking yourself questions you don't really want to know the answer to. Am I intelligent? Am I selfish? Am I repulsive to others? Am I worthwhile? Hiding underneath that, we find your innermost truths. Your level of sanity, your sexual desires, your grief and your obsessions, your secrets, your regrets. Finally, at the core of it all is your raw emotion, the exposed nerves, the chromosomes and the pheromones and the neurons following patterns you learned before you knew who you were, and your ancestors' DNA and thousands of years of evolution and all of the shit you will never truly understand about yourself that no human being will ever truly understand about other human beings, about the point to all this. And that's just all your layers. Then there's the other person. Maybe all of their layers are in a different order, or maybe you have some that are damaged or defective, or perhaps there are some that are missing entirely. But in any case, all of your different parts and all of their different parts are talking to each other, fighting with each other. They're having this conversation almost without you. And often, you don't even realize all these conflicts as they're happening. It might not hit you until you walk away and suddenly feel sick to your stomach. Or later on, when you're about to go to sleep, you feel this sudden awareness that the other person insulted you, or that you have feelings for them that you know you shouldn't, or that you don't like yourself right now. Emotions have strong half-lives, and listening to their endless echo can be exhausting. <laughs> 